What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. This is the long-awaited first Zara haul of the transitional weather. Get excited because these pieces I'm loving. I feel like everything in the haul is very cohesive as far as color too, so that was very satisfying, I have to say. But I think in today's video, I'm gonna film this more of like a first impressions, try it on with you and talk you through the piece instead of like grabbing each piece and talking through it because I feel like it's a lot more fun when you get to see my reaction and I feel like I remember a lot more about the fit if I do it that way. So that's what we're doing today. Let me know down in the comments how you like that style and let's get started. All right, starting off with the first piece that I got is this super oversized shirt. This is from the women's section. You know how Zara shirts kind of fit weird sometimes? Well, I had that in my mind when I was ordering this and I got it in an extra large thinking that it would be super short like a bunch of their other t-shirts, but no, it's actually super oversized, but I'm not mad at it. I definitely think I could have stuck with a medium or a large, but I'm not sending this back. I absolutely love that it's a cream sort of off-white color with the black text there. I think this will look really nice with some biker shorts, some jeans, maybe a cargo skirt, which you'll see later. Definitely a keeper. Really quickly before I throw these on, I picked up these ribbed biker shorts in a medium large, and they are the same sort of cream off-white color. I think these are really nice to have for just under super big t-shirts like this. They're not the most flattering thing I'll say, but I love to have these as just like a basic go-to, so I'm gonna throw those on and show you. So you'll see in the cutaway a much better view of these ribbed biker shorts, but um, I have these in so many colors because I love to just throw them on under long t-shirts or you know, throw an oversized button-up shirt on with it. I have white ones, and these ones are definitely an off-white cream like I was saying before, so I felt like I needed these ones because it wouldn't look right to wear just plain white ones with this t-shirt, but I also just think that these shorts are a great basic to have. Like I said, they're not the most flattering thing, but that's okay because if I was really showing all of my leg and butt area, I'd probably be wearing some shapewear. One thing to keep in mind is these white and cream shorts are usually kind of see-through, so I would recommend wearing, you know, skin color underwear and things like that. Just being aware that, the, yes, they are a little bit sheer, if that bothers you. I think the best next thing to go with is this vest because I can just throw it on over this t-shirt and show you guys how that looks, so I'll do that now. This is a reversible vest, so the outside of it is beige, the inside is black. I got mine in, I got mine in a large, extra large, so it goes small, medium, large, extra large. I got it in this size because I tried it on in store in that size and I really liked it. I feel like if I would have gotten the smaller size, it just wouldn't give me the effect that I like. So should I try this on? I'm gonna turn it inside out into the black side so that you guys can get a better idea of what it actually looks like on because I feel like if I had it on the beige side, you wouldn't be able to see it really well. So here it is on. I love this thing. I love that it's reversible. I feel like you're getting a lot more for your money with something like this that's reversible. And I know I've talked about this before. Actually, I talked about this in my trends video. I'm definitely going to be incorporating the vest trend into my wardrobe by using things like this, a puffer vest, because the knit vest, just it's just not my style. And so this is what I meant when I was talking about incorporating that trend into my closet. But not only that, I don't really feel like it's necessarily a trend just for this year. These come back, I feel like, almost every autumn, winter. So I feel like this will stand the test of time. It's not really something that's going in and out kind of a thing. But one thing that I like about this is they have the little drawstrings on the side here. So you can definitely cinch it in. So if you wanted the front open like this, just cinch it in. If you wanted to kind of like loosen it up just a little bit, that way it comes in at the waist, but it's not super pulled out, you could do that too. I actually prefer it untightened. This is the back of it. So you can see it hits me really nice right here at the smallest part of my waist. So this is a perfect crop for me. And I would say that I have a pretty short torso. So I absolutely love the fit of this crop vest. Just for shits and giggles, let's turn it um, inside out so you can see the beige side. 
I feel like I'm gonna be wearing it out on the beige side a lot because I really love the beige color. So here it is there. And why don't I zip it up for you guys and show you how it really fits. So this is it just zipped up all the way. Absolutely love this, keeping it, it's definitely not getting returned. Okay, so I think next I'm gonna go put this on. Yes, her. I'm gonna go put this on and we'll talk through it. Okay, so this is the striped knit sweater that you're probably seeing everywhere on Instagram. I got this in a large and mm, I feel like I could have stayed with a medium. I feel like a medium probably would have fit better, but I really had this idea that it was going to be super small and I'm not going for the small look or size fit look. I guess I should say. Um, I really wanted it to be kind of like loose enough and flowy, but at the bottom it's not, it doesn't come in very much. So I feel like a medium would probably fit me better to be honest, but I do love this. I think it feels very luxurious. I compared the stripes next to something black and this is a extremely dark navy. So it is navy but it's very dark so you can't, I feel like the naked eye couldn't tell unless you had it next to something black. The sleeves are pretty loose and then you have this big collar in the back that just kind of flops around. My vision for this is to possibly wear it under the vest maybe, wear it with some jeans kind of just like pulled in on the side. I feel like it will also look really cute with some bike shorts and some sneakers and socks for a more on the go chill look, but kind of like elevated, you know what I'm saying? But I do, honestly, I love this. So if I don't keep it in the size, I'm definitely going to reorder it in a smaller size because I am keeping this one way or another, just don't know on the size yet. So let me know what you guys think. It feels super cozy, super soft, and I love that the arms hang on your hands like that. We're gonna have some really messy hair by the time this video is over. Okay, so I got this gorgeous striped sheer satin super long shirt that's like long enough to be a dress. And then I got those shoes in silver bag that you saw in the thumbnail for this outfit, but also because I wanna use a lot more silver in my wardrobe this season. This is definitely sheer, which is why I have some black bike shorts. And I'm also wearing my Skims Naked Collection bra that is not even out yet. It comes out on 927. So if you guys haven't seen my Skims, bra new collection review definitely go check that out it would mean a lot to me because that sponsorship was a big deal and i need you guys to show up for me okay but anyways yeah this is my go-to bra love it super comfortable so i have that on underneath this so that you guys can get kind of a good idea of what this looks like definitely going to show you a full length version of this but this the cuffs are satin and then there you go you can really get a good idea of these stripes right here are satin. This is just sheer mesh. I love how long the sleeves come down. I got this in a size medium. I've had my eye on this for quite a while because I love things like this for a night out. So this shirt has a slit on both sides. It's definitely really flattering. I could wear it with a belt or without a belt, either way. It's very comfortable, flowy. I'm obsessed with this. It's definitely not going back. She's a keeper. Like this cute little silver bag that I got. This one was $39.90. And it's just a very cute little flat bag. So that's what it looks like. It's still stuffed. I wanted to leave it stuffed for the video. But look how cute this is. It's very shiny, reflective, metallic. Absolutely love this. This is a great night out bag too. I feel like it's perfect size shoulder bag for going out and I waited for this to come in stock so if you see it grab it because I feel like a lot of people are going to sell this thing out. Another thing that I got are these shoes. Now I've tried these on. I think they're super super cute but I sized up like I always do in my Zara shoes and honestly I'm not crazy about the fit because I feel like this needs to be a little bit tighter. The shoe itself fits me. I think I probably could have stayed true to size or gotten a women's eight and a half because that's my normal size, but I did size up. Um, the heel is pretty high too, so they're not that super short heel. 
that Zara sells a lot. And then the bow on the front is these crystal-y things. This is the back of it. So it is flimsy. It's only attached like right there in the middle. Um, and they're $89. So I kind of feel like they're overpriced. Like that's actually how I feel. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think of this. I'll show you a clip of what they look like on the feet, but let me know what you guys think because I'm on the fence. They're really cute, but $89, mm, I don't know. And the heel is really high, so how much am I gonna wear them? Next up, we have this cropped sweatshirt that is the material of any regular sweatshirt that you would get from Zara with the really fuzzy part underneath it. This one has sort of like bat wings. So you can see, I actually really like that. I feel like it's very flattering. It gives you an hourglass illusion whether or not you have that shape because it's wider on the top. Um, so I always find things like this to be flattering. This is a cream color again, an off-white, definitely not a super pure white. And I got this in a large because I really didn't want something like this to be fitted. It shouldn't be, it should be loose and relaxed. So I absolutely love this. I can see myself wearing this with jeans with the cargo skirt that I'm gonna show you in just a second, with biker shorts. I have it on with biker shorts right now, just some black ones. And I think this is a great transitional piece and absolutely an elevated version of a sweatshirt. I love this also because it's short sleeve. You guys may know by now, but I live in Arizona where it's really hot. So this is perfect for transitional weather here. Short sleeves, it's still sweatshirt material, so you're getting some warmth without being overheated. It's not even really hot enough to wear this right now, but I'm preparing. I'm gonna show it to you on with this cargo skirt that I got. If you watch my trends video, actually, you know what? I have a lot of things in here from trends that I was talking about in my trends video, so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet, including the last thing that I just showed you. Sheer was on my list for trends, and hello, Sheer. Vest, hello, vest, and now cargos. I have a couple cargo pants, but I definitely do not have a cargo skirt. I've been seeing these a lot everywhere lately too. Um, this one has a drawstring at the front here. I got mine in a large. I didn't realize that this was going to be, I mean, I knew that this material wouldn't have any stretch or give, but I felt like a large in this material should work. I really wanted to get that loose effect and tighten the waist with the little cinch thingy, but this is actually pretty tight. Not tight enough to where it doesn't fit me, but it's tighter than what I expected. I think I'm gonna keep it though, because I like that it's fitted. I think if I got one too big, it just, I don't know, I feel like I'd be swallowed up in it because this thing, let me tell you guys, this thing is super long. I wanted to show you close up before I put it on the details of it. It has cargo pockets on each side. This is the band material here and you can see it's very scrunchy at the top. This I think is like a key ring, which is pretty standard for cargo, so honestly it fits the vibe, I guess. The back of it, the slit goes up pretty high, so you're not like restricted with movement. I think that's a good thing that they made the slit this high. It doesn't go so high that your butt's gonna hang out or anything like that. It just goes high enough, I think, to allow for a lot of movement, so. Let me go put this on. Okay, so I have the skirt on now, and I really like these two together. If I didn't mention before, this is a maxi skirt. It goes all the way down to my ankles, and I'm a 5'5". Five five. Um, so keep that in mind if you're shorter than me, because I'm also pulling it up to mid-waist here. One thing I was thinking about doing is I could probably like roll it down too. Like that could be a vibe. You could just roll it down and you'd get kind of a paper bag effect at the top. I'm not mad at that either. If you wanted to kind of pull it up a little bit and give your hips a little bit more room. Otherwise, I mean, also if you guys don't know, usually I'm a size medium in other brands. In Zara on bottoms, I usually size up to a large. Well, in everything, I usually size up to a large because I find it to be a little too restrictive. So for this to be a large and for it to be pretty fitted, I mean, it's not so fitted that I don't have any movement. Like I said, it, I think it fits really nicely, to be honest. So yes, I did size up a size. I recommend sizing up one size in this because the fabric, if you have wide hips like I do, 
you're not gonna fit your true size. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I absolutely love this skirt. I can't wait to style it different ways. I would definitely wear this with my vest and a long sleeve top also. Another thing that I got that you saw me wearing in the last clip are these brown snake print heels. These ones are also $89, but I feel like these are worth it. These are real leather, and the double strap, it looks wide right now, but it has a double strap at the top of the ankle, one in the middle, one at the bottom. And I feel like the double strap makes it so that the heel doesn't look as short, which I like. In my opinion, these were worth it. I'm usually an eight, eight and a half, depending, but I sized up and got these in a nine. They're super comfortable. The middle of it's pretty padded. I think the col color of it is perfect for fall too, so I'm very excited about these. These ones, in my opinion, were worth the price. All right, I brushed my hair. We're at the end of the video. I really hope you guys like everything that I showed you. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and the, your thoughts on the more first impressions type of video, I guess. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.